What's going on guys? My name is Jay and welcome to your first computer graphics tutorial on ellipse drawing and we'll be using the midpoint ellipse drawing algorithm. Now if you haven't watched my midpoint circle algorithm and my midpoint line algorithm videos then I highly recommend you go and watch them first before you continue with this one. Now unlike a circle, an ellipse has what is known as a four-way symmetry. See, if we can somehow draw this quadrant we can draw the other quadrants as well using the four-way symmetry. So our primary concern is with this quadrant. Now, there's a little problem. Now, see if this is our XP, YP, our current pixel, then of course this is our E and this is our SE. Now, suppose we chose E to be the first pixel to glow, okay? Now, we glow the E pixel in the uh, next iteration. This would become our E and this would become our SE right so we glow se because obviously the, our arc is closer to se and that makes this one to be e and this one to be se but our arc didn't exactly pass between e or se anymore now what do we do about that this time if this is our current pixel then our arc would be passing between the points se pixel and S pixel, otherwise no, known as the south pixel. So, this kind of makes a little problem, doesn't it? This is why our ellipse quadrant is divided into two regions. See, this is the region 1, where we try to glow between E and SE, and this is region 2, where we try to glow a pixel between S and SE. Okay? Now, before we actually start calculating the d value like before, there's something you need to know, and that's when do we exactly cross between the two regions. You see, if I draw a tangent at this point right here, see, then we'll get a slope to be minus 1. So the slope of the curve at that point, uh, what the hell is wrong with this pen? Okay, so the slope would be minus one from this point of the curve, okay? At this region, the slope would be greater than minus one, and in this region, it would be less than minus one, all right? Now, what you need to understand is, we have to define some kind of function in order to differentiate between region 1 and region 2 so that we know exactly when we're in region 1 and when we're in region 2. So we know the basic equation of an ellipse is given by b square x square plus a square y square minus a square b square equals to 0. Or if we write it as a function, we can say f of x y equals b square x square plus a square y square minus a square b square and that would be zero for all the points upon the ellipse okay now if we draw a vertical axis at this point on the slope on that particular point where the slope is minus one then this is known as the gradient of this function okay and it's defined by grad of f of x y which is the partial differentiation of f with respect to x and the partial differentiation of y, f with respect to y. i and j, of course, are the unit vectors representing the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay? Now, we have to calculate these because our magnitudes of the vectors i and j would be equal on this line. So, if one is greater than the other, then we know we're in a particular region. We can determine our region with the magnitudes of vector i and vector j. Okay? So, first let's find the partial differentiation out. That's 2 by dot x, b square x square plus a square y square minus a square b square plus del by del y 
b square x square plus a square y square minus a square b square okay and that will give you twice b square x i plus twice a square y j now of course we start out in region 1 which is just like a circle that is to say that region lies between the points E and SE. So, like before, if our XPYP is the current pixel, then our midpoint would be XP plus 1, YP minus half, just like in the circle drawing algorithm. So, we can substitute these values into this equation to make the grad of F to be equal to twice b square xp plus 1 plus twice a square yp minus half. Okay? So, this is the part where you need to understand that when the value of this quadrant i that is to say, this region, the magnitude of i becomes greater than j, we already cross into the region 2. That's what that means. Because in this part of the region, the magnitude of j is always greater than the magnitude of i. Just like in the second drawing algorithm, uh, we say that the value of y is greater than the value of x in that particular octant. Okay? So, we can compare between these two components and we can say that when twice b square xp plus 1 is greater than twice a square which is greater or equal to twice a square yp minus half then we've crossed into region 2 of course, we can just cut out the 2 because it has absolutely no part in a comparison. So we can just simply compare b square xp plus 1 and a square yp minus half. Okay? So when this condition is true, we will leave region 1 and calculate for region 2 where we have to choose a pixel between south pixel and southeast pixel. Okay? So. Due to shortage of time, I think I'll cut off the video right here and in the next tutorial we'll find out how we calculate the value of D and how we select the points. Well, see you till then.